There we go. Does anyone have any prayer requests this morning? Yes. Judy, please. Go ahead. Please lift up Pastor Alan Campbell, who is still battling with pancreatic cancer. Um, he and his family, they've been going up and down the road to Atlanta, Georgia, to a holistic cancer treatment, and there are some challenges with that. So please lift him up in prayer and pray for my little one. He got a little cold this morning, so oh, pray James. for that. Okay. Okay, well, we're definitely going to hold up against any illness uh, and sickness that comes among the midst of yeah. our loved ones. Um, does anyone else have any prayer requests? Yes. Um, <clears throat> I apologize. Good morning, everybody. This is Tori, Chuck's cousin. And I'd like to ask that um, you keep me, myself, who is battling with the flu, keep me uplifted in prayer. My son, <clears throat> as he uh, still undergoes more surgeries, we've been traveling back and forth to Augusta, Georgia. And I ask that you uplift my daughter, Jalasia Dukes, um, it's still a struggle. Uh, unfortunately, it, things have progressed, and, and now she is officially on the run from the police. So if you'll just mm. keep her in prayer. Okay. I... Definitely, definitely. It is hard for anyone who's on this call. I feel those things strongly because as a parent, it is one of the hardest things to love a soul so much, and yet they are they are given to us. We we don't own them; they're lent to us, and it's a very hard job to be a parent. Um, just want to open up. If there's any other prayer requests? I have a prayer request. Yes. Um, please keep my aunt Shirley coming lifted in prayer. My aunt has been battling cancer for years and years. Mm. Um, mm. She is the only sibling of my mother that is still here on earth. So we're praying for her strength. Um, I'm an educator, so I have prayer and just ask for prayer for all the students in the Charlotte Mecklenburg school system. Um, and also a personal prayer for me. I am working towards prayerfully towards um home ownership, so if you can just okay. pray for me that God will line up the word with um, my purpose, I would appreciate it. Wonderful. Um, give me your name again, just so. Chantel Jacob. Chantel, okay. Thank Next you. level. How are you doing, Chantel? I'm good, Brandon. How are you? Doing good. Thank you. Good, good. Okay, wonderful. Anyone else? Okay. Um, I do want to start off with a praise report. I usually probably would let Brandon um, say it, but since I know about it and I'm, I get excited about our children, um, we prayed multiple times over um, Buck, his son, and we have had two weeks of excellent reports, excellent reports back from his teachers and the school. And so, you know, his mother said, don't stop praying. <laughs> so we stop that. But we we celebrate every victory, even if it's a day or an hour. We I love to celebrate victories. And so I am grateful for the two solid weeks of there being a change in um, the whole school and um, behavior. And so I'm, I'm, that's our praise report today. We have been praying, and God is is opening up this little soul's mind to understand that he has so much potential. And so we, we pray, for, of course, for his continued success. Um, Chuck, I don't know if you'd like to go ahead and get started. Yeah, I'll get started. Good Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we come about you today, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, 
We want to thank you for the people that are calling in on the prayer call, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, that are in need of prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know that we all need prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Whether it's personal, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, or praying for somebody else, we all are in need of some type of prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we form together, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus to come to you because two or more that's gathered, the Holy Spirit shows up, Thanks. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And as I said online, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as people call, whether they call in to listen or call in for a request, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you show up on this line, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just want to pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for my cousin Tori, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever she's going through with her family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you stop Satan, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as he's trying, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to get to the family, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Chantel, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, what she's going through with her aunt, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I can only imagine, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you cover her by the blood, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Jennifer, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus for what she's going through with the pastor, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you Uh have the last say so and everything, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we want to pray to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you fix that situation, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as we draw unto you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Through these situations, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we get frustrated Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We get discouraged, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We don't know what to do, who to talk to, or where to go, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we're coming about you, Heavenly Father, because your word says put you first, and all things shall apply, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we put you first, Heavenly Father, so these things can apply, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Important people are being hurt within our lives, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Important factors, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Inspirational people, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That we count on, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. That draw us closer to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we need you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus right now. As we take away our plates, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we take away TVs, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Whatever we take away, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to get closer to you, Heavenly Father, so that we can hear from you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. As we come to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Judy, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For I know, Heavenly Father, for Jennifer knows, Heavenly Father, What's going on right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus? I pray that you cover her, mm-hmm. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So next Friday, she could have a praise report, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that her praise reports will have non-believers believe in Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, mm-hmm. or wanting to believe, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for what she's going through right now, because we know that several people are going through that, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and walking away from you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because they don't have clarity, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, on what they're going through, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For we believe, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, of the unseen, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through our faith, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and through our will, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because we as Christians know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that there's no other way to go, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So Mm. I cry out to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for others, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, including myself, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, who's going through something myself mentally and spiritually, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you come about to us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we care for you on anybody, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, because you're not a forceful God, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But us mm-hmm. as Christians are trying to live as examples, Heavenly Father, in the Stay name on. of Jesus, for the kingdom, Stay Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So we come about to you now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, mm-hmm. Heavenly Father, I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that as we try 
to go about doing things for the kingdom, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that you send the right support system, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. For each of us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, are trying. Chantel is trying to get a house, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Maybe she needs that house, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to build Bible studies, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for fellowships to come in and study the Bible, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for educators, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, who might not know you or never heard of you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, so that they can come into her house, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, mm. and read upon the Bible, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to see how good of a God you are, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Jennifer's pastor, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as Jennifer's praying, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and relying on you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. She can use the pastor as an example, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus on how to believe, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and what to believe in, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Because mm-hmm. we know the doctors know nothing, Heavenly Father, just because they were so don't mean they know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For I know through my daddy, and that's how I learned, that they don't have a clue, Heavenly Father, and I had them to tell me for themselves, they have no clue, Heavenly Father, as they were discouraged, Heavenly Father, and putting their own spirits in, Heavenly Father, and some of them who didn't believe I had them forming as a team to pray, Heavenly Father, because I wasn't having no bad spirits around my daddy, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For you know, for Judy knows, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, what went on every day when I walked in that hospital, Heavenly Father. But everybody ain't like that, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray that they get like that, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for Tori, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for what she's going through. Maybe she could set an example, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody just to say, my God is a good God. And I'm yes, he you is. Why, Heavenly yes, Father, he does. Whether it's wrong, whether it's right, what, whatever's going on, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, within her mind, my God is a good God, and I'm going to tell you why. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I just pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for everybody who's on this line, in the name of Jesus, amen. 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 I just want to read a scripture to everyone this morning. It came out of Matthew 11. And it is always apropos when we have prayer that we should read this probably every time. It says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Now, it doesn't say it's going to give us all the answers. It doesn't say it's going to make everything we want come true, but he says, I'm going to give you rest. And the line underneath it says, prayer is the place where burdens change shoulders. We are not meant to carry everything because we do not know everything, but we are meant to bring our burdens to the Lord. We are meant to bring our prayer requests to God, and we're meant to leave them there. And as we move about in our lives, the answers we seek, the answers we need, and the resolution of what we're seeking, God is the one who brings it forth. So I just want everyone to work to think on these things this morning. Do not continue to carry the burdens. Rest in the Lord. There's a scripture in Psalms that says, rest up on the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this morning, and we come because there are several on this line this morning that need healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, we know you to be a healing. I personally know you to be a healing, and I walk in power and in confidence constantly because I'm a living testimony to the healing power of our God. So Heavenly Father, we have those on this line that are praying against cancer, Lord. Cancer, Heavenly Father, we know is a scourge Heavenly Father. We know that it is a spirit and a force that comes against life, Lord. And so therefore, when you say we should have life and have it more abundantly, we have the authority to pray against something like this. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask as Pastor Alan Campbell and his family are going back and forth over this pancreatic cancer, Lord, that you bring in the minds that can help, that you bring in the holistic things that can help, 
that you bring in the help from whatever means necessary, Lord. Heavenly Father, he is a witness to you. His whole life has been dedicated to you, and therefore we know that he stands firm in the testimony of our God. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask for miracles right now, even with the aunt um, Ellen Cummins, the long-term battle, but you kept her here, Heavenly Father, to be a living witness and testimony to your sustaining power. And so, Heavenly Father, we pray against cancer. We rebuke cancer in Jesus' name from these bodies, from your servants, Lord. Continue to keep them up. Continue to keep them going. They're not in hospice, Heavenly Father. They are walking, Lord, in your mercy and in your grace. And so we ask for more grace to abound, Heavenly Father, in their lives. We ask that more healing power be sent to the cells of their body, Lord, and to rebuke this scourge out of their body in Jesus' name. Dear Heavenly Father, those on the line, we have little James who is battling a cold. Heavenly Father, as a growing child, we know we've got to go through these things, but we ask that you protect his body, protect his mind, protect every part of him as he goes through these colds. And Tori with the flu, Heavenly Father, we know we've got to go through these things, but we ask protection against long-term effects of anything that should come into our body. We ask that it be rebuked, Lord, and removed. And as we move throughout the year, they'll say, mm, for a moment there I was sick, but God raised me back up. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray this morning for our educators. I'm outside of a school right now. Bring peace to their minds. Bring wisdom to their minds. These are souls that we have been entrusted with, Heavenly Father. These are lives that are forever changed by the teachers in front of them. And so the burden they carry is heavy, Lord. But we have just been told to cast all of our cares on you, for you care for us. You see each teacher as she comes in or he comes in this morning, and as they need to get their lesson plans, and they need to be able to relate to every student in there, whether they have help or not help, whether they have all the materials they need and they don't need. Heavenly Father, again, impart the knowledge that is within them to these open minds. Open these children's minds to respect and love their teachers and their educators, Lord, to hold them high to the highest esteem, Heavenly Father. Help these children, whether they're at home, to only have glowing things and to talk to their parents about their teachers teachers, Lord. We lift them up today, Lord, because their job is not easy. Their burden is not easy, but we know that you can give them the strength, the wisdom, and the power to impact young lives and make a difference. I remember all the teachers that impacted my life, Lord, that changed my direction, that set me on a new path, and I thank you in the name of Jesus for every single educator that has dedicated their lives to changing, impacting, empowering in the mighty name of Jesus, these young lives. Heavenly Father, and Chantel is also about to become a homeowner, a landowner, Heavenly Father. We bless her now. We call down blessings that the place that she gets is for your glory, that she will be able to bring in a new feeling and a new spirit in whatever neighborhood you put her in, where the people will be able to see, there goes a woman of God, there goes an educator. We're happy that she is here. She is impacting our lives in such a positive way. I call down strength and power on her, Lord, that wherever her foot shall trod, whatever home and residence you should give her, should always be a glorified temple for you, Lord, in your spirit. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that the process for homeownership be smooth, Heavenly Father. Let it be painless, Heavenly Father. Let the people be able to say, we can do this in 30 to 60 days, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. You will be turning the key in a new Amen. joy in the mighty name of Jesus. We yes, ask that God. these things go smoothly and because mm-hmm. we are always going to give you the glory and the might and the praise for what you're able to do for us. Dear Heavenly Father, I go back to playing for Tori for her children, Heavenly Father. She brings us her children. You know the needs, dear God. You know the, the, the okay. fear, dear God. You know the everything that is going on. 
with these children's lives. And so I ask you, Lord, the one that is on the run, give her a new heart, Heavenly Father. Give her a new spirit to understand that she may run from man, but she cannot run from you. Let her understand that you have her back better than anybody else and will love her through whatever is going on in her life. Let somebody walk up to her and share the love of God so that she can turn over her mind, her heart, and her body to you, and that you will protect her, Lord. You will bring her to righteousness, Lord, and you may make these things be able to be overcome so that she does not have to live in fear. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask praying on the son that is going through multiple surgeries. God, you have brought him this thus far. I have to stop and thank you because he is still with us, even though these things are painful, even though these things keep recurring. Dear Heavenly Father, you are he is still here with us, and so we thank you for the body that is here, for the soul and the mind. Now we ask, Lord, as he goes forward, that you touch the doctors and the nurses and the anesthesiologists and anybody who comes into the room, as Chuck said, we rebuke any negative spirit away from this child as he goes under these surgeries. We rebuke any negative or evil spirit that would cause any hurt, harm, or incident to happen to him. Bring him again safely through their Heavenly Father. And we ask in your mighty name that eventually this thing be done, Lord. Let it be done so this mother can rest. Let it be done so this mother will not be able, will be able to put down this burden, but Heavenly Father, I ask again that you just cover this young man over and over and over again and make it be a praise report, Lord, that he has survived, he has overcome, he has gone through the struggle and come back on the other side. Dear Heavenly, let us remember that you are God and that you are a good God, that you go with us wherever we go whether it be through the fire, through the flood, Lord, that you never leave us nor forsake us. You love us unconditionally. You sent your son to die on a cross for our sins. He took, bore the stripes that should have been ours, Lord. Heavenly Father, let us remember that by your power we even continue to live because if you drew back all your spirit, all flesh would die. Heavenly Father, let us remember that we walk in your mercy and your grace that we get from one destination to the other destination safely and carefully. And as we come to the end of another work week and we start this weekend, Heavenly Father, I ask that you cover each and every person on this phone. And whether they spoke up or they didn't speak up, dear Lord, cover them, Lord. Cover their homes, cover their their possessions and cover the people that they are coming in contact with. Make them of your living vessels to be out here to show forth your mercy and your might. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. If, any, if yeah. anybody else wants to pray, we'd like to pray. To... Yeah. But I thank you guys. I'm in school. I'm in my classroom. I feel the anointing. Thank you so much, Brandon, for reaching out to me this mm. morning. I needed that, and I receive it all, and I pray for everyone on this line. I pray that you guys have a blessed day, an anointing field day, and a high yes. effort. Amen. 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 God is about to bless you. He's about to do something big in your life. And I promise you, throughout the day, you're going to hear it through your kids. Thank Watch you. Hallelujah. I, I received that. Huh? But, oh, mm-hmm. hey, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Does anyone else have anything that they feel led to say? That's fine. We like so this is group prayer. We pray together for one another. We lift each other up. Well, if no one else has anything else, um, Brandon, if you want to close in prayer, you know I've got to get into the ceremony. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to just cut it short before you go to court. I'm going to cut it short before you go to court. Now. You know what's too funny? <laughs> yes, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly yes, Father, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for an excellent weekend. Heavenly Father, yes, in the name of Jesus. Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for Chantel calling in, Heavenly Father, yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for everybody who's called in, Heavenly Father. And I pray, Heavenly Father, what came out of my mouth with Chantel, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that a kid, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that one of her co-workers, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, speaks life and abundance, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, 
with what we said on this prayer call, Heavenly Father, because we know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that this prayer call is serious to us, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We know, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for what you gave me, single saved and serious, is serious to me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, through the mentality and the spirits of people, Heavenly Father, for what we see What's going on in today's society, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to where 50-year-olds are thinking like 30-year-olds, to where 40-year-olds are thinking like 20-year-olds, Heavenly Father, mm, in the name of Jesus. Nice the affection of trap rap, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Reality television, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. America, corporate America, job, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Satan has really been effective, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And people have been drawn away from you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. For they not need to see you physically, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, or visually, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So they're relying on people like Jay-Z, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, or Rick Ross, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, to fix and have a solution, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. But I say no, 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 no. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as I step upon Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and say you might not see him visually, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, but if you follow me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you can feel him spiritually, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for you knew that I had the heart to do it, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So you had me to step upon, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Even when I'm discouraged, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you still lift me up, Heavenly Father, in the name yes, of Jesus. Because yes, everybody Lord. don't have heart, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, and I thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for the people who never called in before, they're called in now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And seeing that I'm serious with this movement, that Judy is serious with this movement, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Ain't no play play, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, with your say say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. So I pray for an excellent weekend as well as an excellent week, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Everyone be safe. Be safe this weekend. And remember, what do we always say? We love we you, but God loves you. God loves you more. So as you shut the door, always remember, we love you, but God loves you more. And we are. Yeah. I'm hanging up. God bless.